The F-18 Super Hornet will be replaced by Boeing's sixth-generation fighter jet. Boeing announced it will stop production of the F-18 Super Hornet fighter in 2025. This is the first time Boeing has announced a definite deadline for ending fighter aircraft production. Because Boeing wants to focus on a next-generation successor to the U.S. Navy's F-18 Super Hornet that could be developed in two versions or possibly operate in two modes. These are manned and unmanned versions of the F-AXX fighter. The U.S. Department of the Navy is requesting this budget as part of its budget proposal for the fiscal year 2024. The new aircraft is expected to replace the F-A-18E-F Super Hornet. Many features of the stealth F-AXX remain unclear, but the aircraft will likely become the U.S. Navy's quarterback for future aircraft carrier operations. Although there is no clarity on what the quarterback of the U.S. Navy will be, Analysts are closely following the statements in Washington on the subject. Here, for example, Rear Admiral Gregory Harris made a statement that caused the first speculation. When we look at it now, next-generation air domination is a family of systems with a manned or unmanned platform, the F-AXX. It is the fixed-wing part of the next-generation air domination system family, said the head of the Air Warfare Directorate of the Naval Forces Command. The new F-AXX aircraft will replace the U.S. Navy's aging F-18 models. A recently released report by the U.S. Congressional Budget Office revealed that the U.S. Navy's fleet of Super Hornet fighters, introduced in the late 1990s, has deteriorated faster than the F-18 Hornet fleet that preceded it. Typically, major military program development systems are designed to be kept in production and in use for as long as possible. It is known that the initial production of the F-18 fighter began in 1974 and has continued in various variants to date. Production of the F-A-18 Super Hornet fighter could be extended to 2027 if it wins a tender for the Indian Navy, which is looking for a new fighter to deploy on its carriers. In that competition, the F-A-18 Super Hornet fighter aircraft competed against the Dassault Rafale. The aerospace giant halted production of the F-A-18 Super Hornet fighter to focus on developing the sixth-generation fighter. Boeing will use its financial and manpower resources for promising projects such as the F-15EX fighter, the T-7A Red Hawk trainer jet, and the MQ-25 Stingray autonomous refueling aircraft. Boeing plans to direct about 1,500 employees who support the Super Hornet program to these projects. Boeing is already building three new facilities in St. Louis to produce a new type of aircraft, the sixth generation. We plan for our future, and building fighter planes is in our DNA. As we invest and develop the next era of combat aircraft, capabilities, said Steve Nordland, vice president of Boeing Air Dominance, quoted from Aviation Line. The F-18 fighter was originally developed by McDonnell Douglas, but after its acquisition by Boeing, its production fell into Boeing hands. Quoted from the Bulgarian military, more than 2,000 F-18 fighter aircraft have been produced, including the F-18 Hornet, F-A-18 Super Hornet, and EA-18G Growler variants. The company will not be taking any other orders this year, except for an additional eight Super Hornet orders approved by the U.S. Congress. A total of 20 new F-18 Super Hornet orders were awarded by Congress, 12 in 2022 and another eight in 2023. After deliveries of an additional 8 f 18 Super Hornet packages are completed in 2025, the production line for these aircraft will be closed. Thus, a total of 698 Super Hornets will be added to the U.S. Navy's inventory within 30 years. The F-18 fighter, which was first produced by McDonnell Douglas in 1974, will remain in production for exactly 51 years if you count the Hornet version that coincided with the discontinuation of production, 2025. If you enjoy content like this, please like and subscribe this video as I appreciate all your support.